any medication or treatment has potential downsides, side effects, if you will, um, and TMS is no exception. Um, the first thing that is probably the least significant thing is it feels like somebody's tapping on your forehead, or there's a woodpecker on your forehead, as people sometimes say. Um, that generally is, uh, you know, only a minor nuisance, and often, even by the end of the first treatment, people have gotten used to it. As the you go to treatment number two, three, four, it becomes less significant also. We've actually literally had people fall asleep in the chair. Um, the next most common thing is sometimes we inadvertently um, stimulate one of the surface nerves that goes to your muscles around your eye so it's not unusual to see people's eyebrows twitching. Um, if that happens and if it's um, you know enough of a nuisance um, our technician can sometimes t change the angle a little bit or the spot a little bit to try to eliminate or at least reduce that. Generally that's it. Occasionally people will say they felt a little dizzy afterwards or a little headachey afterwards, but that's pretty uncommon. Depending on how you read the research, there is either a one in a thousand or a one in ten thousand chance of causing a seizure, which is why we try not to do TMS on people who have previously had seizures. Beyond that, there's really no side effects. Um, and, you know, bear in mind, what are the alternatives? One thing to be aware of is that medications are generally the other major alternative. Medications uh, are quite commonly associated with side effects. There's usually like a 10 to 15 percent chance of causing nausea, headaches, stomach upset, diarrhea, um, sweating, dizziness, and then there's usually a whole long list of other side effects that are between 1% and 10%. And if you notice with TMS, we have a 1 in 10,000 chance of causing a seizure. So we're talking about medicines that fairly commonly cause side effects versus TMS, which commonly causes you to feel like this or that. And that's the only thing that's at all common. The other alternative is um, ECT for depression, which has a significant side effect of memory loss, which is sometimes permanent, um, and uh, muscle aches and headaches, which are also fairly common.